Seven campaigns, four combat jumps, and 467 days of combat time. The 82nd Airborne Division participated in most of the Army's major operations in Europe during World War II and frequently fought outnumbered. On August 25, 1942, the 82nd Division became the first Airborne Division in the U.S. Army. The division was only commanded by two West Point graduates, first Major General Matthew Ridgway and then Major General James Gavin. The All-Americans hailed from every state and saw some of the heaviest fighting during the war. As elite soldiers, they had to be ready for battle immediately after landing. Their baptism of fire occurred on July 9th, Operation Husky, a parachute assault onto the island of Sicily. After success in Sicily, the division went to Salerno, Italy as part of Operation Avalanche. They fought for months to secure southern Italy. Once the mission was accomplished, the majority of the 82nd Airborne was pulled off the line. Time to prepare for the Normandy invasion. June 6, 1944, D-Day. With two combat jumps under its belt, the 82nd faced its greatest challenge yet, Operation Overlord. 13,000 descended upon Normandy. Their mission? To secure areas behind invasion beaches so seaborne forces could advance inland. The 82nd fought for 33 days, outnumbered 4 to 1. The battle report read, Every mission accomplished, no ground gained, was ever relinquished. On September 17th, the 82nd parachuted into Holland for Operation Market Garden in the largest airborne assault in history. The division fiercely fought to secure Hell's Highway between Grave and Nijmegen. In one notable action, 200 soldiers heroically crossed the Wall River to gain control of the Nijmegen Bridge. Barely resting, the 82nd was thrust back into combat in December. They had to blunt the great German counteroffensive, known as the Battle of the Bulge. The All-Americans had no time to replenish their supplies or replace their men. Major General James Gavin said of his men, they fought with only light weapons in waist-deep snow, in blizzards, in near-zero temperatures, and in areas where heavy forestation and the almost total lack of roads presented problems that only men of stout hearts and iron determination could overcome. By February 1945, the troops were pushing into Germany. They had thwarted Hitler's last gamble. The 82nd stayed on the line until the end of the war in Europe. Then it assumed occupation duties in Berlin. The division so impressed General George Patton, he said, In all my years in the army, in all the honor guards I have ever seen, the 82nd's honor guard is undoubtedly the best. The All-Americans became known as America's Guard of Honor. The 82nd Airborne returned to the United States on January 3, 1946. They led the victory parade in New York City, with four million cheering them on. Battle of the Bulge. These are 13,000, but they stand for 10 million, and they march for many who will never march again. Individuals from the 82nd earned three medals of honor, a host of distinguished service crosses and silver stars, and thousands of purple hearts. Former President Ronald Reagan said it best, Heroes come when they're needed. Great men step forward when courage seems in short supply. We honor these great men by remembering their valor and their sacrifice.